All right, thank you so much for coming here and listing our proposal of dark chocolate pistachio M&Ms. Uh, it's the healthier way to satisfy your cravings. Right now, we're living in a health crazed world. And you might ask why dark chocolate pistachio M&Ms? The reason why we chose this is because it's such a brandable product. With Instagram, you know, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, all these different platforms to share products um, and use product recordability through people like celebrities, um, it's an easy way to grow a market and to create something that people will love and catch on to really quick. Um, and that is why we did choose dark chocolate along with pistachios because you meet each of the health needs. And like we said earlier, it's a healthy way to satisfy those cravings. And because the market that there is for these products, um, we feel like it'll be a success. And that's what Benson here is going to explain for you. Thank you so much for that introduction, Matt. Um, like you said, I want to briefly talk about the marketing structure. So this is the, the face of the movement. This is our new packaging for the uh, dark chocolate pistachio M&Ms. Um, and then we have the market over here to the right. This represents the health and wellness market um, within the last four years and the upcoming year. And as you can see, it's gradually increasing. So we feel that this is a, a perfect fit for us. And then over here to the left is a representation of pistachio compared to other nuts in its area, and as you see, it is the lowest. And then for our marketing, we're gonna have the, uh, let's see here, Kylie Jenner, The Rock, and Serena Williams as our celebrity endorsements, and they will be posting videos for us and tagging hashtag pistachio green in these videos, which we will then use as ads on Facebook and Instagram. So um, I wanted to pass this over to Sushi, who's gonna go over the finance portion. Thank you, Benson. So next is prices. So price might be one of your biggest question because pistachio is very known as a very healthy, but also very expensive, right? So this is a list of the common nuts, like peanuts, almond, and pistachio. So as you can see, the almond and pistachio is the almost same price. So we assume that these two are the same price. And these are the list of the M and all the M and M's. So yeah. <clears throat> and we conclude that uh, we, got, we are going to sell that this $10.99 per pound. This means like our production cost is 76 cents. And then we, our selling price is gonna be 156. And uh, Ami is going to conclude this presentation. Thank you, Atsushi. All right, so we know that we have a marketable product and we have a good market to hit. So these are a few competitors that we see in this market. The Kind Bar, I'm sure all of you guys are familiar with. They're also nuts and dark chocolate. <coughs> and the dark chocolate acai. So this is actually the Hershey's brand of their health chocolate. So we are actually probably the last brand to enter this market. So we have a few competitive advantages. We have a brand that is very recognizable and we have a great price point. We'll be the cheapest out of all the other brands to uh, sell a product like this. And we have a lot of store space, vending machine space, places where we can <clears throat> enter the market easier. And then our portion sizes are small enough to where people will be more likely to buy our product because they don't want to overindulge because they are trying to be healthy. And I think M&M in general is just a great brand. So people really trust that we'll deliver a quality product. So that's pretty much all we have for you. We do have a proposal that Matt is going to uh, wrap up for you. So there's a lot of information to take in just based off a couple slides, but like the proposal, which Amy said, you will be all issued it. And the reason why we do believe that this will be a success, like we mentioned, is because of the product recordability of M&Ms and wonderful pistachios, along with using those celebrity advertisements and utilizing those platforms today, such as social media, um, to be able to use that hashtag that we explained earlier, which is what will be able to let people catch on with the product. And thank you so much for your time and hope that you enjoyed the presentation.